episode three when we are back at you. Now last week we covered various handoffs, so I want you to go check out that video so you can establish a base. And this week, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna be covering some options. So we're gonna start off option under the center, then we're gonna do some read options in the shotgun. Now the first type of option that I like to go over is just your basic triple option. So triple option generally, you got a fullback, you got a tailback, okay? So what we're gonna do here, now again, let me explain what an option is. Option is, for instance, if I'm this tight end or this tackle, normally what will happen is that, we'll just play the tight end, for instance. If this is the tight end, then what happens there is a defensive end, okay? And what when, we, when your coaches say option, what that means is that you're optioning this guy, okay? So that means that the defense, the, excuse me, the tight end, he's gonna block down or he's gonna go block a linebacker or somebody like that. So we're leaving this guy on the island unblocked. So when we say option, there's an option for the quarterback to hand it off to the fullback. There's an option for the quarterback to keep it, or there's an option for the quarterback to toss it, okay? So that's what we mean when we mean by option. And again, your option isn't limited to your defensive end. Sometimes there's a situation in which we're optioning a defensive tackle. But we're gonna go over all that. So what I want Marcel to do, I want you to play the fullback first. Now, the key to the first option, particularly under center, is we gotta establish our steps, okay? Now what we have to understand about this is that you got your offensive line and they're firing off. This is a run play. This isn't no pass blocking. They're getting off that ball. So what we wanna do, if, if I'm running, if your coach calls, uh, you know, uh, 24 option, or, or triple option right, whatever he says. Let's say it's an option to the right side, okay? So what we wanna do is our first step is down the line, okay? We don't, want, we don't have time to step here, okay? And we can't necessarily step too far into the line because we'll be past the line of scrimmage. We wanna step straight down the line and it cannot be a false step. We cannot do something like this unless it's a different sort of option. But for this option, for a triple option, we want to step straight down the line, okay? So we want to step straight down the line and our rules for options. So again, so we're going to step straight down the line. Marcel's going to be our fullback and we're optioning that defensive end. So our rules is this. Once we establish, we got our steps together. We're going to come in our hole and our rules is this. I call it BRBD. BRBD. So we want to get the ball back we want to ride, when we say ride, we want to stick that ball up in that fullback's gut. I'm sorry. We want to ride until we get to our belt buckle. So back, get the ball back, riding. Once we get to our belt buckle, it's decision time, okay? All right, now, we got two decisions that we want to make. If we have a defensive end, and that defensive end comes here, crashes down, on, the, on, the, on this fullback, what decision do we make? Give you two seconds, 1,001, 1,002. That's right, we keep the ball, right? So if that defensive end decides he wanna crash, we hear, uh-oh, we keeping the ball, okay? The second decision is here. If that defensive end decides he's gonna play disciplined ball and go straight up field, what do we do? 1,001, 1,002. We give the ball, that's right, we give the ball, okay? So let's assume for argument's sake that that defensive end crashed. Here's what it's gonna look like. Said, hut. Okay, so you see me, I'll BRBD, stay a little tighter, Marcel, you, you right here. Okay. Okay. I BRBD, we're gonna run that again. Said, hut. BRBD. Okay, and I'm keeping the ball, okay? Because that defense end crash, all right? Now the second phase of this. So that's the first phase. So now we got our step. And before I go any further, what I want you to get to realize is that when we're doing this, stay, I want you to stay real tight. Like right okay. over Right over the, yeah, right, right over the guard. Okay. When we're doing this, our eyes can't be here. Our eyes can't be over here. Our eyes can't, our eyes have to be focused on that defense end. We wanna, from the time that we step in, we wanna be here, okay? So that way we can make a decision because 
if you're particularly if you're a high schooler, your middle schooler, even if you're you know in college, if you can make the right decisions, you gonna do the uh, what's it uh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel Elliott? You gonna do that Ezekiel Elliott and eat because you'll make the right decision, and that's gonna be five, 10, 15 yards a pop once you learn to run it. But don't be afraid to look at that defensive end, decide what he's doing, and make a decision off of that. And again, you're not gonna get this strictly from this video. This is gonna take a lot of practice. So this is, particularly, you gotta run this in full speed. You know, your practice, your coaches will get you there. But understanding the concept is key. If you can come into the season, if you can come into that practice and understand the concept of what a triple option, just what option offense is in general, or, or also, excuse me, also, and understand the proper mechanics of how to do it, you're gonna be a, a, a step above the rest. So again, I'm stepping. My eyes are locked in the defense. I'm kept BRBD, okay, and I'm making my decision. And again, once we make that decision, we're going straight down the line, cutting up field, get some yards. Now the second phase, Marshall, you're going to move the tail back. Now, let's say again that, that uh, the defensive ends crashed. I got my rules flowing. I'm here. Doing, doing, doing. Now the second phase I'm doing is that my second phase of the option is that I'm optioning on a cornerback, a strong safety. Generally, it's the strong safety. Now again, if that strong safety is disciplined, he's gonna fly out to that tailback and I'm gonna just cut it up and run, okay? But if that strong safety crashes on me, then I gotta pitch it. Now, this is something that gets people a lot messed up. When we're pitching this ball, it's just like we're throwing the ball. Our hands is just like this and we're pitching thumbs down. So we're gonna, here, you're gonna step, thumbs down, okay? Let's try that again. So we're pitching, thumbs down. Okay, and I'm gonna give you a drill for that. Okay, so that's the triple option, all right? We're gonna run this one to our left. So now we covered the triple option, and that's something you're gonna have to review a couple times and keep going over. We got the speed option. Now again, remember when I told you that we're stepping straight down the line. Now with the speed option is a bit different and every coach runs it slightly different. With our speed option, you're actually gonna step back and face up. I think you take a jab or you just bubble out. I think you just take the Okay. So you're gonna step back, you're gonna step back, and then you're gonna come downhill. All right? And what we're doing here, run it back. And what we're doing here is that we are attacking the defensive end. So that way, same concept, same blocking concept, although maybe slightly variated. We're attacking, the, excuse me, not just the defense end, but if they're running a 3-4 defense, they're outside backers. But it's just a quarterback and running back. It's not a fullback in this one. So we're here, we're here, we're facing up, we're stepping down the line. And again, if that defensive end crashes, pitch it. If he plays discipline, you gotta go. Now the thing on this one, <laughs> The, the warning I would give you on this one is that, again, a lot of teams don't run this. You'll see this with maybe the Navies, but hey, you might run the offense that run it. When we're running this speed option, you got to be prepared to pitch that ball quick because if that defensive end, he's going to be licking his chops and he's going to come down here hard. Like I said, if he's playing it right. You know what I mean? All right. So we got the triple option, speed option. Now we're going to move to the front step. We're gonna to move to the zone option or zone read, okay? Now this is probably what a lot of you, a lot of more of you modern quarterbacks and young guys are familiar with. See this in college every single week at every single team. So basically, we, this is a shotgun. We're gonna be here. It's the same, same principles. So again, we got our shotgun, and we got our back. We got our rules. What's our rules? BRBD, that's right, BRBD, you got it. What do they stand for? Back, ride, buckle, decision, okay? So we got our, we get the back here. And again, when we're doing this, if our linebacker, excuse me, if our uh, running back is lined up to our left, this, the, the option's not coming to the, <laughs> to the right where he's going. We're optioning the backside defensive end, okay? So when we come down, we get to shotgun snap, we're looking at that left defensive end, okay? And again, if he crashes, we keep it, right? So if he goes straight down the line, crashes, he keep it? 
What happens if he goes upfield? What do we do? That's right, we give it. So hut, okay, and we give it. Now again, is that hard to, 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 is that concept hard to grasp? No. What's hard is when it's coming full speed and it's something that you have to get in rhythm, something you have to practice. And one note I'll make is that what I see a lot of quarterbacks doing, for instance, if uh, the quarterback, if, excuse me, if the defensive end decided he did want to crash, what I see a lot of guys doing is stepping over and then going. It, they may be a situation in which you do have to do that, right? But what I would like to see is just in a cleaner situation, if I get it, he crashed, I'm gonna step right off their center's behind, excuse me, right off my uh, running back's behind and go straight down the field and make a move. Because more than likely, the flow of the defense is kind of moving that way. Or, or at least the defense end played it and we're, and we're gonna have some yardage to get, okay? Now again, can there's gonna be situations in which we'll have a motion coming here or maybe you have another running back and you run the same option and he'll come around and you'll be pitching it. But it's the same concepts. What you have to understand is that BRBD and eye level, that's what you have to understand. These are crucial. You have to understand that you have to get the ball back. You have to ride him into your belt buckle, okay? And then you have to make a decision whether you're gonna keep it or give it. And you have to establish a good working relationship with your running backs to understand, so they can understand you know, the concepts of the plays. You get it in there, don't get the ball too high, don't get it too low. Okay, now again, we got an audible. Our audible for this, our audible for this, is that particularly when we're in the shotgun, maybe they blitzing, maybe they coming. Look, if they coming, if, if I mean, they, they the containment is broke down and they coming through there, look, you may not have time to give you a full fake. You may just have to keep that thing. So that's an audible for this situation. Sometimes you just, you ain't got time for the fake. You just gotta keep it. Okay, now we're gonna have a drill with this one. Walk over here. Little Marcel. No, hold up. No walking over here. No walking over Now, a lot of times what happens is when we run in this, I don't know what running about, we're gonna get right here. A lot of times when we're doing this, particularly the pitch, again, when we, when we talk about our BRBD, what does that stand for again? That's correct, back ride decision, excuse me, back ride buckle decision, okay, BRBD. Now in addition to what's difficult about that is just practicing. You on your own, you're gonna be able to practice a little bit, maybe kind of in your backyard with a couple friends, but when you'll get into the season, that's when it really come alive for you. But what I find a lot of young quarterbacks have trouble with is the pitch. And the pitch is gonna be crucial. Again, you can maybe turn that up the field, have a five, six, maybe 10, 20 yard game. But if you can pitch it at the perfect time, then you can change that five and six yard game maybe into a touchdown or a 50 or a 40 or a 30 yard game. So with our pitch, our grip is gonna be similar to throwing a ball, okay? We got our space in behind, we got our uh, fingers on the laces. And we'll go over that later, guys. So what we're gonna do is this. Now the motion is this. Again, we're gonna start about chest high. So we don't wanna be too high, we don't wanna be too low. We're gonna be right, right in the heart, right in the center of our chest. And, we're going, and when we toss in this ball, we're gonna to toss it, and our thumb is gonna be down, okay? And we're gonna to step to the direction that we're tossing. We're gonna to toss it slightly, slightly in front. We don't wanna give him too much room. We're gonna, excuse me. I'm sorry, not in front, because when we're doing this, remember, we gotta do a lateral. But we're gonna step to where we're tossing the ball. I'll put it like that. So you wanna step to where you're tossing the ball. So again, you're watching your feet, you're here, heel toe, step. Heel toe, step, thumbs down. Heel toe, step, step, thumb down. And this is the drill. So we're gonna uh, just give a light little trot, step and throw. So here we go. Let's start right here. One, two, three, step, throw. And you gotta get ambidextrous with this. This is a two-hand motion. So if you're struggling with your left, work on it. Start out with your left. All right, we'll flip field. All right. Here, there you go. Step, throw, step, heel, toe, thumb down. Remember, 
We're not going too high. We're not going too high, guys. We're not going too high. Nice. All right. And I'll give you an idea for a second drill when it comes to option football. Tuck the look. Now, Dad. Go ahead and do the, uh, go ahead from the uh, shotgun. Now, Dad, maybe it's just you and your son, or your son has a brother. Here's a drill that you can do to get his eyes ready. So, if he, we don't have a brother out here, it's just me and my man, but we're gonna imagine that we got a running back here. Dad, you're gonna be the defensive end, okay? So we're gonna do uh, zone read coming here, all right? So Dad, what you're gonna do is this, go ahead. So you're gonna practice coming downfield, coming downhill, and then he's gonna keep it. Or, the other option, come up field. Again, you'll do this in real time, but that's a way for you to practice this option. So again, guys, we went over the um, the triple option, speed option, option from the shotgun. That's the basic mechanics on how to run the option. There's various different types of options, but this should give you a good foundation on how to run it. So I'll see you next week, guys.